So in this video, we're going to talk about how good Mac OS Big Sur is on MacBook Air 2017 because it is one of the most requested video on our channel. And in this video, we're going to go very in depth with the MacBook Air because I have been using Mac OS Big Sur on my MacBook Air for last today seven days maybe yeah around seven days this video has a topic startup time ui speed video editing photo editing ui slash ux that means user experience designing programming heating ram management and battery test and finally my own conclusions about the mac os big sar or mac os 11 on macbook air so let's go and go inside go in depth so let's talk about the startup time and in my opinion as far as I have seen that the Mac OS Big Sur is much faster than Mac OS Catalina. Here you can see the startup time, the Mac OS Big Sur startups faster than Mac OS Catalina. If you haven't seen my last uh, video about the Mac OS Catalina on MacBook Air, you can definitely go and watch that out and you will get a little bit idea about that thing. Okay, the next one is user interface speed. Here you can see the user interface. It is pretty, pretty fluid and fast and I have been doing every single thing on my MacBook Air and it has been a great experience. I have been using using Photoshop, Safari, Brave Browser, Final Cut Pro X or even Sketch and VS Studio Code to develop my websites, designing websites and Photoshop for photo editing, Microsoft Word for making some documents and everything is going very very perfect. I have seen zero zero issues and scrolling inside of my home page or inside of my desktop one desktop two desktop three or even going into the launch pad and swiping up going inside one applications opening folders copy paste all the things are very very fluent so user interface is much faster no i cannot say much faster i can just say the user interface is a plus that means the user interface is super super fluent a 2015 or 2017 macbook air in 2020 running mac os big sir very fluent like what else can you expect from a device like this cheap device doing pretty well and i feel it's a very good deal anyway let's go and talk about the next thing that is video editing <sighs> it's a very interesting topic because i cannot talk about the video editing uh, this video you are seeing has been edited on this macbook air and last video this video here you can see about how much money i earned from okay let me make the sound a little down here you can see the video i made uh, tomorrow about my past youtube earning and things like that this video was totally edited on final cut pro x with this macbook air and the mac was big sir thing uh, it has been a great experience i have seen zero final cut pro x lagging everything is as normal as mac OS high sierra i will not talk about the mojave or the mac OS catalina because all those two were a little uh, stinky shady I don't know but the macOS Big Sur is very fast I have edited this full video here you can see the timeline was pretty big there were a lot of things on the timeline and it ran all of those things like like a butter so video editing with the Final Cut Pro X is possible um, I don't know about 4k but 1080p 30 and 60 is kind of possible without any issues 10 minute or 15 minute project with couple of large satellites and couple of text lens uh, it is possible so far so there is no such issues with uh, final cut pro x video editing thing you may ask me about premiere pro i can say you nothing about premiere pro because i haven't used that application so premiere pro zero experience uh, from my side but uh, final cut pro very fast the next one is photo editing so the thumbnail you have seen on this video has been edited with the photoshop the thumbnail you saw last day was also edited on this machine and there is no such issue with the adobe photoshop and i have also used uh, affinity photo i didn't like that one but adobe photoshop and affinity photo works on this device perfectly with uh, no such issues and here is the thumbnail you can see i have edited that completely with adobe photoshop and macbook air with mac os big Sur. so photoshop has not a lot of issues over here you can see it is running smoothly well the brush and the healing spot tools are working well so mac os big Sur is pretty pretty fast and pretty fluent anyway so that was about photo editing and i haven't used lightroom because i personally do not use lightroom that much so i don't have uh, a lot of idea about lightroom but yeah lightroom uh, if photoshop is working that means lightroom will also work on this device i'm liking the macos Big Sur because the animations all the things uh, looks a little uh, 
iPad kind and I really like the iPad operating system iPad OS anyway now let's talk about the UI slash UX designing now we are opening a Spotify sample file that have been edited with a sketch application like Spotify 2017 version and here you can see the Spotify user interface is working on this sketch applications with macOS Big Sur on MacBook Air perfectly fine that means user interface designing or UX designing is pretty pretty good on MacBook Air with macOS Big Sur I'm just calling it macOS Catalina because I've been using that for a long time anyway so user interface designing or user experience designing is possible on the MacBook Air with macOS Big Sur uh, if you want to update right now you can update like I don't know what is happening Apple's new developer betas are very good I'm using the Mac OS uh, Big Sur beta 1 developer beta 1 and I have seen uh, very minor issues and I am also using um, iOS 14 on my iPhone, iPad OS 14 uh, on my iPad and all of those are running well. I don't know what Apple has done this time. They have accomplished something uh, unusual that is not Apple like thing. I don't know anyway the next one is programming I don't do that much of a programming on my device right now because I'm working with some other things so I cannot do that much of a programming but I use Visual Studio Code or VS Code uh, it works pretty perfect on this one I haven't tested Xcode because the file is very big I haven't yet downloaded that because my internet is a little shady not good at all so it will take a long time so i haven't downloaded xcode but i have seen some articles on google that it works pretty perfect as other things are working okay so programming will be okay in my opinion maybe uh, because i have used vs code studio and it is working well that means xcode will run but there will be some starters because xcode is a pretty big heavy developer environment anyway the next one is heating ram and battery section so let's talk about heating so heating always happens on macbook air there is no deny on that thing when you turn on the mac it will uh, start from 58 degrees celsius and it will go to 75 degrees celsius while you are doing something other than that i haven't seen major issues i'm using it no problems edited all of those uh, previous seven eight videos with this one no issues everything so far is going well i don't have complaint about the heating the next one is the ram i think i think the ram is uh, much better in mac os big sur than mac os catalina because in mac os catalina the ram was having some issues but this one uh, it is holding much well so the ram heating no issues the final one is battery to be honest the battery is not doing that well like 30 minutes less than the mac os catalina i think because of having all these updated themes user interface stylish design all of those new updates it is consuming much more battery than the mac os catalina but okay right now develop a beta one we'll see what happens in the future updates my final conclusion should you buy the macbook air 2017 uh, right now then i'll say okay you should buy should you go for mac os big sir with your macbook air and i will say wait for the public beta there are still some issues but those are very minor and negligible you can get to mac os big sur beta 1 developer beta 1 and it is working perfectly like i'm still using mac os big sur developer beta 1 on my device and it is still working performing very fine anyway so that was my final conclusion want to get the macbook air 2017 go and get that right now want to install the mac os big sur wait for the public beta or if you are a crazy like me then you should definitely install mac os big sur developer beta 1 right now because i've been using this for seven days and i have seen zero issues that was all